Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're at the Valley for Charlton Athletic against Cray Valley Paper Mills in the FA Cup first round. So what are your thoughts on today's game? Well it seems really strange just to even say in that, doesn't it? Charlton versus Cray Valley Paper Mills. Um, uh, yeah, it's, I mean it's the game that absolutely um, encaptures what the FA Cup's all around about. Cray Valley only four miles down the road. Uh, an absolute perfect draw for them. Slightly split because of course we know the Cray Valley manager, um, Steve McKim from his time at Tunbridge and some of their players used to play for us as well. But but that we are here for Charlton. Sorry, Steve, we are here for Charlton. <laughs> so we'll be in the Charlton uh, end today. Uh, I just hope everybody has a nice time, uh, whatever happens, and everybody goes away happy. Yeah, so, um, you know, this is a weird game for the FA Cup, really. Uh, obviously, um, only four miles between the two teams, and there's five league difference as well. So, <laughs> so we're in uh, League One, and they're in the Ispian South East. And to get to this round, Cray Valley have had to win five games getting past um, Lordswood, Northwood, Uxbridge, Carshalton and Enfield Town. So, you know, a very long run to get here. Uh, so they've done very well. What's your prediction? Um, I'm, um, great admiration for, for Steve McKim and Barry Moore. Um, I, this will be a task too short, much for them, surely. Um, Charlton 4, Cray Valley 0. No. I think it's also going to be 4-0 to Charlton and I'll see you at the Valley. Thoughts on the first half? Um, the most important thing is Charlton winning the game, but um, I think there are more than 100 league places between the two and the domination should be a bit higher than that. So that's all credit to Cray Valley, who um, battled really, really well. Um, not hurting Charlton really, but you know, they're getting forward and getting into spaces and a couple of times, I think Charlton would have been fairly worried. So let's see what happens in the second half, see whether Charlton bring their big guns on. They might not need to, because I think we've got an interesting 45 minutes ahead. Um, yeah, I think uh, 
weird first half really. Obviously we got a very early goal um, and I thought that we'd get quite a few more but we haven't so far. But um, yeah, it's just not, it's not been many chances for both sides really. Yeah, I mean, a little bit concerned at the minute but we should be fine with all our subs so uh, see you second half. Valley Paper Mills 1. This is the most embarrassed I've ever been as a football fan, honestly. Time it finished, Charlton Athletic 1, Cray Valley Paper Mills 1. So, what are your thoughts on the game? Uh, good grief. Where do we start with that one? Um, the first thing I do want to say is Cray Valley was superb and um, they were magnificent. And on credit to them. But we were there from a Charlton point of view and I thought Charlton were absolutely atrocious. They turned up thinking Cray Valley would be easy and they're never up the level of intensity enough at all. Um, and for big chunks of the game, Cray Valley just kept the ball and kept winning the ball back. I haven't seen Charlton play as bad as that any time I've been. So for, for, for me, it's not even my club, it's your club, I can't yeah. you. <laughs> uh, but I'm just really annoyed at the display they put in front of me today. Oh, I don't know what to start about that. I mean, that was absolutely embarrassing. I mean, this is beyond embarrassing. 
uh, I think this is worse than all, all the Tunbridge Angels Cup upsets in the last 10 years combined. This is the worst I've felt from, a, from being a football fan. And we just look so bad. We've got you know, players that look like they couldn't be bothered. And, um, you know, and this may sound quite harsh, but Michael Appleton has to go. Like, not winning this game is an instant sackable offence, in my opinion. And, you know, it's the fact that he, he made 11 changes from the team that did really well and got a really good win at Wigan on Tuesday. We looked fantastic. And all that optimism has gone. And, yeah. But fair play, Craig Alley, though. Steve McKim loves making me feel embarrassed in the FA Cup, doesn't he? <laughs> from the last 10 years, doesn't he? But anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.